Hey guys, it's Kamari. Today, it's time to review episode 22, The Nemesis, also known as the final episode of season 2 of Power Rangers Dino Fairy. Oh, thank God we made it, man. Uh, we finally made it. It took too long, even though I could have just finished these reviews earlier, but whatever. Now, I don't want to waste any more time, mostly because I want to, I want this review to be short, despite the fact that it's it's going to be long anyways. And I don't know, since um, I'm not editing the video right now, I'm recording it. But whatever, let's just get this over with. After going back to Dino Hinge for a bit, the Rangers go to Buzz Blast to try to stop the cocoon. Before they get to it, they tell Aura and the other surviving Raconians to, ac to evacuate. Obviously meaning to get to safety somewhere, or leave. Amelia can't get close enough to link minds with Void Queen and turn her back to Centaura, and they can't wait for her to emerge without everything exploding. Basically going boom. I didn't. I shouldn't have said that, but whatever. They decide to have Zato use the Dino Knight mo mode slash armor and get close enough to teleport the cocoon away. But instead, Tarek volunteers, morphs into Void King Knight. one more time and uses it instead. I mean, does it instead. Apparently, his morphing coat is Void Armor. The cocoon is teleported to a desert and Tarek is still alive, but the Dino Knight morpher is destroyed. Void Queen appears out of the cocoon, and now it's changed into the Nemesis Beast, the final Sporex Beast for Season 2, and hopefully for the entire show. So basically, it's a giant Zord that she can use while inside its, its chest cockpit. The Rangers use all of their Zords to fight the Nemesis Beast, but they're not strong enough to defeat it. They jump into the sky above, uh, above it and, jump, and drop down to get Amelia close enough to Void Queen. It's kind of cool to see them fight on the Zord. I mean, Beast. But I'll say my thoughts for this and some other, some more stuff later. A lot of more stuff. Amelia gets the Void Queen, but gets knocked away slash off the Nemesis Beast, falling down on the ground in the most dramatic way ever. With no other option, Zato sacrifices himself by using the Dino Master Saber's ultimate attack on the Nemesis Beast, destroying it and ends up dying. Void Queen survives, but Amelia manages to grab her arm and reveal the truth to her. Then she finally turns back to Centaura. The red, blue, and green Morphin Masters show up and say they're able to, st to store the Sporic safety and away from the rest of the universe. The Rangers beg them to bring Zato back to life, but they basically say he's part of the grid now, and a piece of him forever being with them all. Mucus also somehow survived and crawls away from the battle. Six months later, Aura and the other Raconians are setting up their new colony in Era 62. Centara is pregnant with a sister for Amelia. For Amelia. Fun fact, uh, what, fun fact, the actress was actually pregnant in real life during this, which is pretty neat. Ion sets up a restaurant where he serves the Forgun cake from episode two, I think it was. I'm pretty sure everybody knows he's a ranger now, but whatever. He serves Jane and Jay board the cakes uh, the cakes. They stay. You know, they say they're setting up a new office for Buzz Blast and Angel Grow, meaning we probably might not ever see them again, which is good because they suck. Fern is back. Mucus and Slider both have human forms now. Have um have their own have their very own magic s circus show, and we cut to Dino Hinge again. Solon tells the Rangers that something's pushing a uh, past their. No, pa past their dang it Solon tells the rangers that something's passing and pushing past their defenses Amelia thinks it's a ghost but suddenly after she says that the Dino Fairy ghost ranger shows up and takes off his helmet and obviously as you can tell by the suit and helmet it's Zato he says he's no ghost but that was kind of stupid to say since he's kind of dead so yeah I don't know he explains that the Morphin Master's did research uh, did resurrect him or constructed him i don't know and that he has a mission for them lord zed escaped and he needs their help to imprison him again the rangers accept they more of teleport away with him and the episode along with donna fairy ends uh, to be honest when i first watched this episode i hated it 
I was really pissed off that the Nemesis Beast was just a freaking villain sword and couldn't speak at all or do anything on its own since its Sentai counterpart was so much better. And I was kind of hoping for the Rangers to lose their powers after the Nemesis Beast got destroyed or something and then get them back and then lose them again and then have their own happy ending stories and then we can just have a new cast for the next season. But to be honest, Donald Fury as a whole was frustratingly good. Mostly season one was. Like seriously, that season was really frustratingly good. And it's cool how the final scene for this episode basically sets up Cosmic Fury. I don't think we're ever gonna see the Donna Fury Ghost Ranger again. And I kinda feel like the suit is and I kinda felt like the suit was lazy looking, since it's just the Donna Fury Red Ranger suit with white and a cape and and stuff, but those are my first thoughts about it, my first opinions about it. They're different now, and he looks kind of cooler, in my opinion. I'm I'm also not sure if that's the official name for the suit, but even if it's not, it's cool. Um, and thank God I didn't pun intend that. <laughs> so, yeah, this finale was okay. Actually, no, it was great. I'm pretty sure it's better than some other than some of the terrible Power Ranger see uh, Power Rangers finales I've seen like Samurai, Super Samurai, Mega Forces, Super Mega Forces, Super Ninja Steels, and Mystic Forces. I can name some more bad PR finales, especially ones that aren't from Super Seasons much. But whatever. Anyway, what did you think about Donna Fairy Season Two and this finale? Let me know. For now, until the season airs in full, I think, stay tuned for when I review the ep the 10 episodes of Power Rangers Cosmic Fury. That is going to be the 30th and final Power Rangers season of the live action show before they start getting ready to do an animated cartoon or something. The season will also have an Orange Ranger for the first time ever, and it's going to be Fern. Billy is also going to be in the show, which is pretty surprising and nice. Because it's kind of like a homage to Mighty Morphin Season 1. I would love to talk about how the suits for Cos for the Cosmic Fury Rangers look in another video for my opinion. And that's why I'm going to do it now. The suits look terrible and pretty ridiculous. They look worse than the RPM outfits. The season is adapting footage from Uchu Sentai Q-Ranger. And I feel like it would be best to adapt the suits from that season. I mean, shall. But it doesn't matter. They're trying they're trying to be more original this time, and I feel like that's a good and brave choice. Zeta was apparently going to be the Cosmic Fury Zenith Ranger, whatever the hell that is. And his suit looks bad uh, looks bad too. Just a little bit for his suit. But judging by the suit actors doing their scenes and judging by how the season might go, I'm sure my opinion and everybody else's opinion about the suits and other stuff for the show will change soon will change soon maybe not i don't know as long as it's good that's all i care about well that's it that's all i have to say i'm gonna keep uploading comrader based videos and super sentai ones too probably until i get an idea to do some videos that aren't henshi sounds i kind of do and i hope they're good for one of the ones i'll do you might be shocked about it and probably hate me for it or think that the video is cringe as hell but we'll see soon once I do it and upload it soon in the future. And with all of that said, I'll see you I'll see you all next time. Bye. Go, go, go,